Yeah, don't judge. Look at your eyebrows. It sounds so unhappy. I seem down. Do I? You're wondering if any, if even physicians can get sick. No, no, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking about my parents. Oh, my family has a long history of being healers. My father was a physician. And my mother was a nurse. Our clinic was always busy. As a child, my parents never seemed to have time for me, and I was very lonely. Oh. There are even times that I hated the profession. I fought with them on occasion about it. But once I became one myself, I came to understand where they were coming from. It's hard to be responsible for the life of another. If I had known then what I know now, I never would have pushed as it did. Oh, forgive me. I shouldn't be burdening you with my regrets. Please forget all about all, uh, forget about all this. No, I cannot. I should be going. Wait, wait. <sighs> Hello. Yo, I'm looking for some good trees to turn into lumber. Figured I'd forage some, for some stuff while I'm while st for some stuff to eat while I'm at it. Oh, excuse me. A friendly tip: If you're thinking of chopping down some trees, don't go just don't just go out there and start whacking away. Have some respect and take what you need. The mountain's sharing her bounty with us humans, after all. Swipe. <laughs> Hello, doctor. On days when the clinic is closed, I forage for medicinal herbs on Mother's Hill. Ah, I request shipments of herbs from Zach as well. Okay, now I know. Now I understand that that's why he's here. That was cute. Got a little cutscene with him. But is there stuff to forge around? Hi, Brandon. Hello. What is it? Just trying to get to know you, that's all, you know. Is there anything to forage around here? Is there a flower? So I can like... Oh, there's flowers here, obviously. Oh, wait, I can pick these up? <laughs> I did not know that. I thought they were like one of these flowers that you just look at. Is this a flower I can pick up? See, like, I thought... See, I, I thought it was gonna be like one of these that I could just look at. Okay. Well, I got a flower now. I don't know if it's a certain flower I had to give to the... Thing. All right. Can I throw it? <sighs> there we go. There she is. Oh, why, hello, Michiko. Hm? How do I know your name? Why, because I'm me, you know, divine being and all that. Anyway, thank you so much for the lovely offering. Oh my, I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Can you throw again? Goodness, we already gave you an offering today. Feeling overly generous today, are we? Oh my, I'd rather be fond of this. How wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, I think you should only be throwing once a day. <laughs> so I kind of uh, wasted some. But it's whatever. Just to show you guys, that's that's what happens. I think if it's like the older games, if I'm remembering correctly, um, that'll be beneficial to our farm. I could be wrong. Oh, I got mail? New product. Big bag. Have too much stuff to carry? Get a bigger bag. It really is that simple. Oh. Nice. Okay. Uh, I don't... I'm not carrying that much right now because I haven't gone mining or anything. Just just making sure to talk to the gray. Um, upgrade my tools. Can we upgrade my hammer? I need more copper. Same with my watering can? Yep, copper. Is everything copper? It looks like it. Hey, how's the farm do- Okay, you're talking about the same thing. I'm just gonna talk to every single guy, you know? To see who who am, who ends up in one, <laughs> who ends up getting my heart. Hello! Oh, let me make my rounds. Ugh, not talking to her though. <laughs> Hello! I'm kidding. Today's a weekly shopping day. Also, doctor's tab needs to pain. So I'm taking care of that for him. Aw. Alright, I'm gonna buy some turnips. I'm gonna buy two of them. God. Your tool pocket is full. I'll send the rest of the... Is it? Oh, it is. Sorry. My bad. They don't stack? Oh, shit. Like, no. I'm completely full. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh! 
my, my. Now, isn't this unusual? Look over there. It's Brandon. Well, I can't remember the last time we saw him come down into town. Brandon. You mean that slightly eccentric? Actually, no. I will mince words. That highly strange hermit? Wow, what the? Woman, well, don't judge. Look at your eyebrows. <laughs> yes, that's him. And here he is, gracing our town with his unique presence. I hear he's supposed to be very easy on the eyes and an excellent artist, but also very, well, but also, well, very, very strange. Well, yes, I've heard the scene. Word is that he's a world famous artist, you know? Why, well, I hear that rich people from all over are lining up to pay top dollar for his works. In fact, a little birdie told me that his bank account has a positively mind boggling number of zeros in it. What if it's literally nothing? <laughs> Really? Where on earth did you hear something like that? Ah, uh, handsome gentleman staring pensively at the class, and that's what I call art. I don't think your husband's gonna be happy. <laughs> handsome and rich is quite the one-two punch, that's for sure. Oh, just look at the divine expression of Inu Inui as he gazes wistfully at the heavens above. I wonder, do you think he might be interested in taking my little Adge? Adge? As a bride? Oh, she's looking for contenders for her daughter. Yes, yeah, she isn't living in town right now, and I can't say when she'll come back, but that isn't that bad, right? Worse than bad, I'd say. Hearts to date someone you've never met when they aren't even here. But anyway, you will not believe what happened yesterday. Ugh, I can hardly believe it myself. Oh, now this I need to hear. Dish. Enough, I cannot take another moment of this. Ugh, well, they never cease. Hello. <laughs> I'm up in his face. Hm? Am I alright, you ask? Why would I not be? I was simply waiting for this guy to present me with my next duty to fulfill. A veritable flood of information rushed down from an, uh, on, uh, rushed down from on high if you only look up. Organizing it is no small feat. All the voices in my head clamoring for attention right now. It takes all of my might simply to put them in order. Was I talking to myself? Ah, I apologize. When I take an afternoon stroll, there are times when inspiration strikes me like a bolt from the blue. Breathing the fresh air as I walk must energize. What? Well, breathing the fresh air as I walk must energize the font of inspiration within me until it overflows. Now then, my thoughts have finally been corralled into some semblance of order, so I will be on my way. Good day. So after chewing on the th idea a little, the idea of a parent deciding who their child will marry seems ridiculously out of date to me. Really, it's just silly. How can I expect Adge to be happy with anyone of her own choosing? In fact, she may not even want to get married. True, our children are miniature versions of ourselves. They should be the ones to shape their own futures. Wow, look at this mature conversation. Oh, definitely. I wholeheartedly agree. But be that as it may, I'll never turn down a little eye candy. Hmm, wait a minute. Where did Brandon go? He was here just a second ago. Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> All right, well then. That was a conversation I didn't expect to run into at all. Well, another cutscene. <laughs> oh, Michiko, hello. You wouldn't happen to have seen Officer Harris out and about, would you? No, well, I will wait a little longer then. What's wrong? You're familiar with this patrol route, yes? He ought to be passing by here before terribly long. I was about to wait for him here. Or wait here for him. I have something I'd like to give to him. Oh, there he is. Hello, Miss Jennifer, and hello to you too, Michiko. Hello, Officer Harris. I've been waiting for you. You have? <laughs> The other day you were walking down the mountain in the dark and happened to twist your ankle, did you not? God was kind of enough, kind enough to inform me. Goodness, it's amazing how quickly rumors make their way through a town. But yes, you heard right, Lee. I'm embarrassed to admit that I tripped over my own two feet and twisted my ankle. Fortunately enough, it wasn't all that bad. I had healed by the morning. Wow, are you some, like, incredibly healing person? Considering you have had the, ha yeah, you had the protection of the mountain spirits, I doubt that any true grave accident would befall you. But knowing that you patrol these paths give me peace of mind as I cloister myself within my tent. Thus, I thought I might give you this in gratitude for all the good you have do good you do for our community. This is a power stone. It is imbued with positive energies that will protect you from accident and harm. 
This mountain ba abounds with good energy and power stones are plentiful. This one happens to be the strongest I found. I hope you'll find it to your liking. Oh, that's so kind of her. Goodness, a gift for me. Thank you very much for your kindness and consideration. I'm sure this will be the most effective. I gladly accept your thoughtful gift and will take good care of it. Now then, I best return to my patrol. If you will please excuse me. Of course, good day, Officer Harris. Aw, Jennifer. Jennifer, right? Yeah. You know, it's hard to shake the feeling that poor Officer Harris is struggling under an unlucky sign. Not in terms of health, though. I have a little worry about that illness or injury will befall him. No, I speak of romance. Oh. I hope that power still might counteract some of his poor luck and bring him into alignment with an auspicious star. I'm sure it was so coincidence cool you have to be here, which you thought that I'd give you some as well. But I get the impression you don't need it. I feel a strong energy about you, as if you have spiritual protection. You know, I have wondered this for some time now, but who exactly are you, Chico? I'm me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm me. And you're you. <laughs> Hi, Brennan. Wonder where he's going. I wish I could move around. But I can't. Uh, if you guys didn't already know, the hot spring helps you uh, restore stamina, which can be seen on the top left over there. I guess I'll just chill out here until like 2 o'clock, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, if it isn't Michiko, how lovely of you to come see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Oh my, I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, another interaction? <gasps> What's happening? <gasps> this is a love confession. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, so uh, have you heard anything from your dad lately? Nope, not a word. Not only did he up and leave mom when she's so when she's so sick, he hasn't checked in even once. What a jerk, huh? Whoa, maybe retract those things a little bit, bud. He did leave because he's looking for a kid for your mom, right? I don't think that's something a person would do unless they really cared about their family. Well, yeah, okay, maybe. And since he's not here, you've got to step up and take care of both your mom and Poppery. Got it? Well, duh, of course I know that. Good, on that note, what, what say we head home? Yeah, and um, thanks, Karen. Oh, are those two supposed to be together? Like how Ellie and the doctor, and then like Marie and uh, Gray? So who's with Cliff and Brandon? Ooh, three ladies out here. Oh, 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 no, uh oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, listen to this. Today I just happened to appear that dead and then. So she and can you believe it? Doesn't that boggle your mind? Hmm. Yes, you said it. Hmm. No perish thought. No, no, no. They're obviously. Why you ask? Well, let me tell you. Yes, exactly. I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. And she what? Oh my, what a pity. No, I. Oh really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then she, literally, she was the only one that talked a lot. Like, excuse me. Oh, I didn't see the doctor again. Hello, me. Hello there, lady. Don't you think Mr. Carter's super nice? He talks with me lots, and his snack and meeks are so yummy. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Is the doctor closed? It's probably closed. Ah. Uh, how am I supposed to win that man's heart when I'm not even giving him any of my attention? <laughs> not gonna talk to him. He's gonna make me sit through another... One of his speeches. Damn, man. I should really go talk to the doctor first thing when I come. I'll wake up. Man, here's Gray. Did you have something you want to talk to me about? Yeah, can we get closer? <laughs> There's Cliff. Cliff in here? Hello. Oh, Michiko. I'm thinking about what I... <laughs> I think we're getting closer to Cliff because he's no longer like pondering. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do here in this town. I haven't decided any course yet. Oh, uh, yeah, course of action yet, though. So that's fine. Hi, Ran. What are you doing here this time of day? Just chilling, you know. The usual. 